Tom Hanks already had a hit with Sully. Reference quality transfer. But let's go back. Let's go back into time. Let's talk Da Vinci Code in this bitch. <laughs> What's good, people? It's your boy. Oh, shit, I almost sang that shit. It's brass tax in this bitch, you already know. New subscribers, welcome. Existing subscribers, I love you guys. Love the comments, keep that shit coming. Side note, there's been a lot of sales on for my UK people. Amazon are doing certain titles for $13.49. Go check that shit out. HMV 2 for 15, so bear that in mind. This is the format. Split up into three parts. Part number one, I'll talk about the movie, yeah? Where I will just give you my brief thoughts on it. In this case, I probably won't talk that much about it because everyone done seen this bitch. Number two, I will talk about the 4K transfer and whether I feel you should or shouldn't pick it up. I will also go into great depth. I will go balls deep in that transfer if you get what I'm saying. And number three, I'll give you my final thoughts where I will also beg for you guys to subscribe in this bitch because I need the subscribers. I'm trying to get to a thousand, goddammit. Anyway, fuck all that, let's get on with the movie in this bitch. So the movie starts off with a murder and there's a big mystery, a huge religious mystery. The key to that mystery lies in the Da Vinci paintings in this bitch. The very secret, the very mystery could shake the foundations of Christianity altogether. So like I said, a murder takes place. So they need a symbologist in this bitch. The symbologist is Tom Hanks, goddammit. Tom Hanks do every goddamn thing. He a pilot in one movie. He's a symbologist in another movie. What's he going to be in the next movie? I don't know. He may just be Tina Turner in this bitch. Dude can do everything. So Tom Hanks and company trying to get to the bottom of this bitch. Meanwhile, they're being pursued by other people who don't want him to get to the Holy Grail, right? They're being stopped from all angles. So they're being pursued whilst they're trying to uncover the truth in this bitch. Long story short, it's a fucking good movie. I probably didn't do it justice with the synopsis, but I actually found it quite interesting. Yeah, I like movies like this. Nice little twists and turns along the way. My kind of shit. Worth watching if you haven't watched it already. Whether you're religious or whether you're not, it's definitely worth checking out. Tom Hanks ain't really made a bad movie in this bitch. Yeah, I still stand by that. I know some of you people have been disagreeing in the comment section, but it's true. But fuck all that. You don't really want to hear my thoughts on the movie. You want to hear about the 4K transfer. Let's, so let's get on with this bitch. The Da Vinci Code. Shot in 35. Digital intermediate, 4K. Visual effects. 2K. I'm just saying that. There weren't even any visual effects in this bitch. Dolby Atmos sound. This movie really is a mixed bag. Really a mixed bag. HDR is a mixed bag. Detail is a mixed bag. Sharpness is a mixed bag. Depth is a mixed bag. Visual effects non applicable. I'll tell you what is consistent. Motherfucking film grain in this bitch. I mean, there is film grain and I found it a little bit distracting. It's not as crazy as Dawn of Justice. I did find it a little distracting. There was a re-release of the 1080p Blu-ray and that was sourced from a 4K digital intermediate just like this 4K Blu-ray is. And I compared that one with this one. It's really 50-50. 50-50 of it, okay, half of it is pretty decent. The other half, not so much. Outdoor scenes, reflections on cars are pretty noticeable. The city, there's a lot of detail there. The, the HDR gives the colours quite a bit of pop. Guys, there's some landscape shots which look very... Very nice, almost postcard-esque in a lot of ways. These are all daytime shots, yeah? An uptick in detail, an uptick in clarity. It's not really gonna impress you. You'll appreciate the subtleties in this bitch. There are some shots in the daylight which look super 4K. There are other shots, not so much, but overall, it's an improvement. When it comes to the scenes at night, the blacks aren't gonna blow you away. The blacks aren't deep, they're not inky. There's not a lot of detail, which is surprising because the HDR, is that's exactly what it's supposed to do. Low lighting, dim lighting environments. I know the detail's just not there. I, I don't, I don't wanna say it's crushed per se, but I just didn't see an increase in much detail at all. As a matter of fact, some of the, some of the dark scenes look pretty much like 1080p shots. I'll keep it real with you. So it's a bit of a mixed bag. That's what I really can say about it, guys. You're gonna get used to me saying this if you're not already. It's the best version of the movie you're gonna get. There's some good moments to great moments in the daylight with HDR more specifically. There are some shots of really good detail and other shots which look a bit soft. And um, the dark scenes just look meh. 
Should you pick it up? If you're a fan of the movie, I guess you should pick it up. I would probably wait for it to be discounted. I know they're doing two for 30 in HMV for my UK customers. Maybe, maybe you want to pick them both up. Anyway, guys, hope you like the review. Hit the like button and definitely subscribe. Love you guys. There'll be a lot more content coming up. I'll catch you guys soon.